Short answer is, it depends. Welcome back to the channel, guys. My name is Joe. Hope your week is going really well. And today, I wanted to go over whether or not an exercise science degree is actually worth it or really necessary. So I had actually a viewer a little while back make this video suggestion. I thought it was actually a pretty neat idea. So is it really worth it or do you really need to get one? And like I said, it really does depend. And it depends on the context. Okay, so what exactly are you gonna going, you know, what are you gonna be doing with this degree? Where are you planning to go in your career? All right, so let's say you're planning to be a strength and conditioning coach, either at the collegiate or even high school level or at a pro team, okay? In that case, yeah, a degree is worth it. And in that case, probably actually necessary because you're gonna need it to actually get hired. Colleges are starting to crack down. It used to be in the past now that you didn't necessarily need a degree in exercise science or something related to that to be a strength and conditioning coach, but now it's becoming much, much harder for you to become a strength coach without the degree. So if that is your plan or where you wanna go, then yeah, absolutely. Another instance is if you wanted to become a physical therapist. In that case, somebody with a degree in exercise science, like a bachelor's in that, is actually a pretty good choice, okay? I personally know a few people who did that route. They got a degree in exercise science and then went on to physical therapy school. And this gives them a really good background on exercise and physiology and how it relates to then injuries and recovery actually really, really well. So really good physical therapists are the one who understand that and a degree in it can help you with that. Okay, so in that case, yeah, it can be worth it and necessary. Now, having said that, if your choice is to make YouTube videos like this, is it worth it or necessary to get a degree in it? Maybe not, okay? Now, I know that's kind of ironic for me to say since I am making videos, I have a degree in exercise science, but it, again, like I said, really depends. You have somebody like Jeff Nippert, whose degree is in biology, I, I think, and, you know, not exercise science, but he makes amazingly good videos. He's a very knowledgeable guy and all this stuff. Louis Simmons, I don't believe, correct me if I'm wrong on this, but I don't believe he has an exercise science degree, but he's one of the most world-renowned strength coaches, okay? Unbelievably smart guy when it comes to all this stuff. John Meadows is another great example. His background was banking. That's what he, he was a banker, okay? Not a degree in exercise science or even as originally as a strength coach or a personal trainer or anything. It's he's something he transitioned to. But we all listened to everything he said because again, he was a very bright and knowledgeable guy with the experience to back it up. Okay, so at the end of the day, it really depends what you plan to do with it and where you actually want to end up it absolutely can help you understand all the concepts. It does get into very technical though, okay? So if you don't really care about learning how ATP works or how the Krebs cycle works or what gluconeogenesis is, okay? Do you really need the end of going to get a degree? Probably not. But if you ultimately want to have a formal background in this, like as it be a strength coach, or you wanna go on to teaching all this stuff or do research in it, then yeah, you obviously do need a degree in this case, okay? Now, there are some people who say that it's not worth it at all. Uh, you know, Dave Tate, another one, um, Jim Wendler, they've had discussions how they don't think a degree in exercise science is worth it at all, okay? Do I agree with this? Not necessarily, because like I said, it really does depend on that context and what you plan to do, okay? So again, if you plan to be a strength and conditioning coach at the collegiate or pro level, yeah, you need the degree, okay? Whether you think it's worth it or not, you need the degree. It will help you prep for it, at least the science part of it, for that type of career, for that profession, all right? And like I said, you're not gonna be able to get hired without it, at least now in, in today's age. Also, 
If you're planning to get certified as a strength and conditioning specialist, like the one I have from the NSCA, from the National Strength and Conditioning Association, pretty soon in the future, they're gonna require you to have at least a bachelor's degree in exercise science or something related to that. Right now, you just need a bachelor's degree, period, in anything, but they're going to be changing it. So if you wanna get a certification like that, then yes, you have to get it. So again, like I said, it all really does depend what you want to do, okay? So this is something that you've got to think about. Now, if you're just planning to be a personal trainer, can you learn everything you need to know to be a good, effective personal trainer with that degree? Yes, you can, okay? Like I said, Jeff Nippert is a great example of this. If you're planning to become an IFBB pro, do you need the degree in this? No, okay? You can learn plenty of stuff on your own to help you out. So again, I can kind of only say it so many times, it completely depends on the context. And if you guys have any questions specific to your situation, whether it be worth it or not, comment down below, all right? And I'll be able to answer that for you to the best of my knowledge. I may not necessarily know the answer specifically, depending on your situation, but I will try my best for it, okay? So I hope this video actually helped you guys out. I know some of you have been contemplating whether you wanted to get a degree in exercise science or exercise physiology or something similar, okay? In that case, you know, there's a lot of conflicting information. Some say it's worth it, some say it's not. Some say you it's necessary, then some say it's not. It really does depend and every situation is unique in the individual, okay? So comment down below, I'll be able to answer any questions that you might have. But long story short, like I said, and everything else, okay? Look at what you wanna do what path you want to go for, what capacity you want to be working in, what profession, all right? And then you got to decide from there whether you want to pursue that or if it's really that much of a passion or that much of an actual career for you. All right, guys, so I hope you found this uh, video helpful. All right, more reviews and advice coming up really, really soon, and I will see you guys next week.